You know, when I was a kid, I remember being in like middle school and like I was just starting to get interested in makeup and back then I was self-conscious about my glasses so like I would like I remember reading this magazine that was like if you wear glasses make sure you don't wear too much makeup around your eyes because you don't want to draw attention to those glasses on behalf of all the people that wear makeup and glasses and really love flashy eye makeup I just want to say fuck that magazine don't remember which one it was but <laughs> that's terrible advice all right, now let's get to the thing that I'm actually here to talk about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. Today, um, I'm covering Adventures in Wonderland, the 90s show from Disney Channel. This was requested by several people, including Tilly, shout out. And it was requested specifically after I covered that Alice's Adventures in Wonderland Hallmark movie. What was that, a few weeks ago, last month? I forget how long ago it was, but after I did that, I got a bunch of requests for other interpretations of Alice in Wonderland, and this one is one that's really, really nostalgic for a lot of people. So, I've actually never watched this. I've just pulled up um, a playlist with a bunch of episodes that's right here on YouTube that I will link. And yeah, we're just gonna watch it. <laughs> Yeah, so basically this was a 90s reimagining of Alice in Wonderland. I do remember that a couple years ago, Defunct TV made a video. Here, I have it right here. It's called The History of Adventures in Wonderland. So be sure to go check that out if you want more of like a historical recap of the history of the show from start to finish. I'm just going to be doing what I do, chilling out, watching an episode. I'm just going to pick like an episode at random. I like through the looking glasses because I just talked about glasses. <laughs> I didn't do that to set this up. I just just happened that way. Dinah. Okay, so one, we start out with Alice in her modern day 90s bedroom. She's sitting with her cat Dinah, who looks an awful lot like my cat Mr. Monk. I'll have to see if I can put in a picture. He's a little bit more brown, but anyway, I'm a proud cat mom. <coughs> so she's sitting with her cat. How am I supposed to write a thank you note to somebody who sends me Earmuffs. I don't know, you say thank you for the earmuffs. I mean, even if that's not your thing, it's still nice that they gave you earmuffs. Dear Aunt Carol. The idea of Alice in Wonderland with a desktop computer is so funny to me. Thanks for the earmuffs. They're just what I wanted. Lying liar. <sighs> How can anybody concentrate with a little brother around? So, as big sisters often do, she gets annoyed by her little brother and the noise that he's making. So she steps through the looking glass because in this version, she kind of just comes and goes out of Wonderland and it's not traumatizing or anything for her. She like likes it there and has friends there. I need some quiet. And that's good for her. You know how important it is for me to keep my garden clean. This show had a great cast. Um, I do know that even though I haven't watched really any of it. From the clips that I have seen, I know that the Red Queen is fantastic. She does probably one of the best versions of the Red Queen I can think of. There's something in this garden that's not clean. It's the birds. I love when actors get really into their character, especially when it's for a kid's show and they still have a lot of fun with it and still like put the work into making it good. Hey! Kids media is important, you guys. We need to put a lot of effort into it is what I'm saying. Not just clean, spotless. spotless. Absolutely spotless. The white rabbit kind of unsettles me, but nothing like the way that the uh, White Rabbit in the last Alice in Wonderland version we covered unsettled me. This version um, kind of grows on me after a minute, but my initial reaction is, oh, oh my, that's a lot of prosthetic work, which is actually admirable to the people who did the costuming and prosthetics and things like that. They're filthy and they're dirty. Why don't they mind their manners? Fetch me my birth and manners. We get a musical number, which is fantastic from the Red Queen, and I believe these are Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Let those birds see the reflection, that is my royal direction. <laughs> and the White Rabbit is wearing inline roller skates. Dirty birdie on the queen. My friend took me uh, a couple months ago and was like, Avery, let's go inline roller skating, it'll be fun. And I fell on my ass and the instructor laughed at me and he was trying not to, but I could, I could hear him laughing at me. It was funny and embarrassing and a little bit painful when I hit the ground, but it was fun too. Let's keep the wing shining, let's keep the queen. Damn, what a fantastic singer. Under 
Those vocals are insane. Yes, the birds are far too dirty. That's why you two lucky Tweedles get to build me a bird bath. Lucky Tweedles. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take? To build a bird bath? Oh, I'd say about four. Four o'clock it is. Days. Oh boy, so we got some work to do and we don't have a lot of time to do it. Rabbit! Where are those plants? I I'm looking for them, your majesty. When I was skating, it was about like that, just with less paperwork. I can't read this. The print's too small. You read it, rabbit. Oh, uh. They teach rabbits to read in Wonderland? That's nice. Why am I saying that like that's a weird thing in the grand scheme of Wonderland? That's not even nearly the weirdest thing that's happened in Wonderland. Where are my glasses? Your glasses? Oh, your glasses. So the queen is having a very uh, commonplace problem, at least in my life. She cannot find her glasses, and she can't see anything without her glasses. I can't see shit without my fucking glasses. You know that vine with Velma from Scooby-Doo? I quote it every time I lose my glasses, which is like at least five times a day. Of course. Who are they? Uh. And then it turns out the white rabbit kind of busted her glasses, so shame on him. Why, you clumsy cottontail, get those glasses fixed fast. <laughs> because at four o'clock I'll need them to inspect my new royal bird bath. All right, so we've got a four o'clock deadline. Uh, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, they're building a birdhouse, and White Rabbit has to get a new pair of prescription glasses. I wonder who the eye doctor is in Wonderland. Here are your plans. <laughs> Remember, four o'clock. The Red Queen is a lot more, um, understanding in this version, isn't she? Like, in all the other versions, she cuts off people's heads for not getting her the right kind of roses, and in this version, she's just like, oh, you smashed my one and only device that I have so that I can see? <laughs> It's fine. Just give me a new pair. I like this version of the queen. This version of the queen, I think, goes to therapy. <laughs> Closed! Oh dear, oh dear, now what? So right as Alice shows up, the white rabbit is freaking out because apparently the person who is going to fix the glasses, assuming that is the eye doctor... Gone to see. Uh, he's gone to see. Because <laughs> yeah, he's, he's an eye doctor, but see, like, the anyway. I knew something like this would happen. <laughs> The sound effects. I, I, I don't know when the doctor will be back. Well, it says tomorrow, Rabbit. I thought you could read. That's an eye chart. Yeah. You see, it says, you see? <laughs> I love that he uses his ear as a patch to, like, read the chart. G-O-N-E. I always have anxiety when I have to go because this eye is so weak. Like, I can see out of it. It's a lot better than it used to be. But, like, that's the weaker one. So, like, when I, when I cover that one eye... I'm always just like feeling like I'm gonna do such a bad job that the eye doctor's gonna laugh, which would make him a shitty eye doctor, but you know. It's not supposed to make any sense. Oh, but that spell's gone. What? Well, oh. To be fair, he did write it kind of weird with like the G and then the O-N-E. Not quite bad enough to be on the like, don't dead open inside subreddit or anything, but like, it kind of reminds me of that. It has the same vibe. Well, of course he's gone to see. He's an eye doctor. Oh, you mean sea as in ocean? As in ocean. <laughs> oh, you mean sea as in ocean? Like, that's how you can sign like waves, like the ocean in sign language. Don't you love how I feel like talking about everything but the thing I'm supposed to be talking about today? The ADHD brain is strong today. <laughs> be back to motto. Be back to. Motto. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love ya, tomorrow. Sorry, that's gonna be in my head all night now. Ooh, she's going to see red. Oh, oh. she wears these. Oh my god, is that the Cheshire Cat? I love him. Did I say it right? I had a couple people educating me on how to say Cheshire in the comments of the last Alice in Wonderland video, and I forget. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. I can never remember. Rose-colored glasses. I should probably find the Cheshire Cat terrifying, but I just think this one's like kind of cute and cuddly. They make everything look new and different and beautiful. Wait, what did the Cheshire Cat say? I got lost in his eyes for a minute. I, I bet they can't make that old tree stump look beautiful. Why don't you try them and see? Okay, so he's got some literal rose-tinted glasses that make everything look beautiful, and he gives them to the white rabbit. Aha! I knew it! Why, even with these glasses on, it's still an ugly old- wait a minute. I love how the white rabbit is like, See, this doesn't work! This is a crock of bolt! Wait a minute! I see what he's getting at. 
these are pretty good glasses. I never saw those flowers before. May I try them on, Mr. Rabbit? I like how she calls him Mr. Rabbit, because in my mind it implies that his first name is... Well, no, it implies to me that his first name is the middle name White and last name Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit is the family name. <laughs> the is his... Christian name? <laughs> well, it looks quite ordinary to me. That's because you're not looking at it through rose-colored glasses. I don't know what happened to the audio. It's an old tape uploaded onto the internet, but... <laughs> that's because you're not looking through rose-colored glasses. <laughs> These glasses are special. There's so much to see. Ooh, we get another musical number. Props to the White Rabbit actor for being on roller skates the entire time. Once hollowed logs are now filled with baby frogs. <laughs> the dance moves are so cute! I can't handle it! Yeah, with that whole, like, White Rabbit costume and the roller skates, that actor was getting a workout. Good for him. That was probably very exhausting on a lot of days, so props to him. Glad you're starting to see things my way. Okay, I will, I will give it to the Cheshire Cat that sometimes his eyes move in just the right way that it kind of looks through my soul, but you know what? We're gonna just let it slide. Well, whether they're magical or not, these glasses are wonderful. I must take them to the Queen right away. But what if they're not her prescription? Well, either way, the White Rabbit is off, and he's off to bring these glasses to the Queen to replace her other glasses. Well, we've got everything we need! Meanwhile, the Tweedles, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, they're, they're making a bird bath. Bird house? Let's make a bird bath! Okay. Bird bath. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's on the plans for the bird bath. Afraid not. The queen gave us the wrong plans. So they've got the wrong plans because the queen gave them the wrong uh, blueprints. And I guess even in this version of Wonderland, the queen is still not somebody that you want to tell that they made a mistake. You know? We'll just go back to the queen and tell her she made a mistake. <laughs> Bad idea. So what do we do? Maybe Crystal can help us. Who's Crystal? Say Crystal. Do you have a bird bath in your file somewhere? Oh, Crystal is the machine. I'm sure this makes sense to everybody who's seen it before, but I'm a newbie. <laughs> well, you got the bath part right, but we need one that's for the birds. In a weird way, Crystal gives me the same energy as the Mystery Mouse Cthul thing in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That show was a little bit after my time, but my younger brother liked it uh, for, uh, for a hot second, and that part was always fascinating. <laughs> There, that's better. What's better? Don't tell me. Nah, who's there? Let me guess. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, is that the caterpillar? These are the queen's rose-colored glasses. They make everything look ridiculous. <laughs> I like the caterpillar. He's so green. <laughs> ridiculous. Ridiculous. He reminds me of um, Severus Snape. Oh, Alan Rickman played him in a ver in the oh in the Johnny Depp movies. I love Alan Rickman. They make things look better than before. Reminds me of a story about glasses. No, probably like about seeing the world in the best light. No, about fish. Oh. Well, I got nothing. I didn't see that coming. Once upon a time... The white rabbit just sits down like, Ugh, this is gonna be a long anecdote. It's like the attitude I used to give my dad when I was a kid and he would try to read us Bible stories. <laughs> I was a terrible child. <laughs> there was a cat. A very hungry cat who could barely wait for dinner time to roll around. Have you ever met a cat? That's all of them. That's every single cat. But all he had in his refrigerator was fish. Yeah, fish isn't really my thing either. Mm. I'm tired of eating fish every day. All right, so we get this claymation short about a cat looking for food that isn't fish. It's my own recipe for troll house cookies. <laughs> troll house cookies. <laughs> okay, one, I, fi I find it funny because troll house cookies are like my specialty. Anybody who follows me on Instagram, at someone called Avery, always be plugging. <laughs> has probably seen me making my Toll House cookies before. It's my go-to. I love it. But also, sir, that's glue! <laughs> then he added two cups Ooh. of sawdust, Ugh. a tablespoon of ground pepper, a can of worms, a small <gasps> fake fur coat. Ugh! I hate black pepper. And of course, chocolate chips! Well, you can't forget the chocolate chips. He fixed himself a fish dinner. And it was the best dinner he had ever eaten. 
Oh, so it's a story about being grateful for what you have. I like that. That story wasn't really about a fish. I mean, it kind of was. It was about seeing the same thing in a new way. But yeah, that is the, the more important lesson. Look at that rainbow. You see, I never noticed it before I put on these glasses. Okay, so the glasses don't like change anything. They just help you see things in a more positive light. I dig it. Do those glasses help you see any Troll House cookies nearby? I know, I want cookies now too. I should make a new batch of Troll House cookies. Ah, look at the time. I must get these glasses to the queen. He's late. He's late for a very important date. I always vibed with the white rabbit. He's always like <laughs> struggling with time management and anxious. <laughs> Whoa, he took that corner. Did you see that? That was smooth. The queen gave us the wrong plans. Oh. <laughs> Why was it when they gave the white rabbit bad news did I hear like the Mario sound when Mario dies? Oh. <laughs> Didn't it sound like that? Do we have plans for the bird bath? Oh, we get another musical number. Musical number three. Do you think these blueprints are the right prints? Okay, one, I love them. Two, this is so perfectly 90s. I, I, I love this. Now these are magical glasses. I'm taking them straight to the queen. They help you see things in a whole new way. So the white rabbit's like, never fear you guys. I have these glasses that are gonna make the queen see everything in a positive light. So we Gucci. Did I say we Gucci? I hated that. Whoa, it's as clear as crystal now. But they take it a step further. They try on the glasses and then they can see the correct blueprints. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it works. So good for them. They're the queen's spectacular spectacles and I must take them to her. No. The white rabbit rolls off and Tweedledee, Tweedledum. Build something awesome for the queen. The coolest bird bath she's ever seen. Get to celebrate. It looks bad. Oh, and then we, we hard cut to Mad Hatter, March Hare, and the little, the little mouse in the teapot. I love the little mouse in the teapot. It's embarrassing. Looking at the house? Oh, it's such a mess. I like it, it's a yellow house. What's wrong with it? So what must the neighbors think? They think it's a pretty yellow house? What neighbors do you have? I don't think there are any cul-de-sacs in Wonderland. Excuse me, but I was just wondering. <laughs> oh God, jeez. Company. I, I react the same way when I have unexpected company too. Sometimes even when I'm expecting the company. <laughs> company can sometimes be very stressful. Too messy. What is, what is? Why my attic, of course. <laughs> So the white rabbit's like, dumbass, I can't even see your attic and how messy it is. But no one can see your attic from out here. And then they're like, well, come on, I'll take you inside and show you myself. See? Well, yes, it is, isn't it? Well, then don't look, don't look. Don't... He covers his eyes. Why did you bring him in here then? These glasses don't cut down on what you see. Well, do things look better or worse? Oh, much better. Wouldn't it suck if you had glasses that were like the opposite of rose-colored glasses, and like, they made everything look bad. <laughs> Things you never saw before. Who wants those glasses? May I try them, please? Oh, all right, but do be careful. These glasses are meant for the, qu the queen. If you break a second pair of the queen's glasses, she might actually have your head. I know this is a kid's show, but you know, you never know. Well, now, wait just a Wonderland minute. So yeah, Mad Hatter puts on the glasses. He no longer sees his attic as a situation right out of hoarders, but he now sees it as... This attic is really a room full of priceless wonders. Oh, I don't know, a room of really cool stuff. Pawn stars? Is that... That's, that's a thing, right? People remember Pawn Stars. Oh, what a beautiful treasure. He's all excited about all the stuff he has in his attic, like they were for finding stuff on Pawn Stars. So if you don't mind, oh, it's going. oh God, White Rabbit, what did you do? Did you break something? What did you break? <laughs> Nothing, is everybody okay? Okay. May I take a peek? Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that like we hadn't seen Alice for a second. Like I like that all of the characters get their own time in this show. It also means that maybe they didn't overwork the child actor. Like there's rules and stuff 
in place to keep them from doing that, but like, some of you know that my job is primarily being a child stand-in on TV and film, so I see kids, kid actors work really long hours, so, you know, anything to like, better manage their time and not make them work super long days, always a good thing. I'd better have a look. <laughs> oh, is the, is the birdhouse bad? I, I don't think that's what the queen had in mind. It isn't? Yeah, I think it's really bad. Well, you think she'll mind that it's not what she had in mind? What the hell does the birdhouse look like? Don't forget, we still have the rose-colored glasses. Alice is like, give her those glasses that make everything look good. That'll do it. This, this thing will look just fine when the queen puts on her magical glasses. Just a birdhouse. Or bird bath. I know the sudden they were magical. Birds aren't picky, they'll be fine. They'll like it. When I say nope, I mean uh-uh. <laughs> what a usable sound bite. Love the Cheshire cat. The Cheshire cat pops in to be like, ha ha ha, there was no magic the whole time. But when the queen puts on her glasses, she's going to see that that thing. Who knows? It was all in your mind, and you thought the glasses would work, so they did. He like, he like, Felix felicius them. Is that what it's called in Harry Potter when they, the luck potion that's like kind of a placebo? Is that the second Harry Potter reference in the same video? Huh. Ha! <laughs> Ooh. But before they can say or do anything else, the queen shows up and she's like, I want to see my bird bath. My new royal bird bath? Which is fair. My glasses, please. <laughs> These aren't my glasses. I tried to tell them, like, what? Uh, they can't hear me, but, like, <laughs> I said, what if <laughs> they're not her prescription? Your oh, Majesty, we, we, we thought that these glasses were fit for a queen. They are kind of red and they fit her aesthetic. Magic? Let me see. <gasps> How nice. Well, she can see out of them, so that's good. This. Oh, maybe it's not good. This doesn't look like the bird bath I had in mind. It's a bird shower. Your Majesty, the plans were. You see, it should have. Oh God, they look like they're about to cry. Does she still behead people in this version? I bet the Duchess doesn't have one like this. Huh? Well, I guess she likes it. It is one of a kind. That certainly is a way to put it. I actually think it's cute. I stand the weird bird shower. <laughs> Have the birdies take a bath or a shower or whatever. You did good work. Have an extra pair of these glasses made up right away. So she's happy and she wants another pair of the rose-colored glasses? I don't get it. The cat said the glasses don't work, but they work for the queen. You can't listen to anything that damn cat says. You see, you don't need magical glasses because it's not what you look at, it's how you see it. Hell yeah, you said it, Alice. It's not the glasses. Oh, I didn't expect her to start singing so, so urgently. But yeah, she's basically like, hey, it's not about what you're looking at, it's your attitude while you're looking at it. The whole episode is a lesson in looking on the bright side. And we get another song. So change your angle any way you can. Forget the rose-colored glasses, now here. But yeah, after everybody sings and tries on the glasses one more time, I hope nobody has pink eye because that would suck. I have to imagine pink eye doesn't exist in Wonderland. Alice goes back to her room. Well, Dinah. And her cat. Did you find ease for the earmuffs? Has any cat ever worn earmuffs? Their ears have fur. It's like built-in earmuffs. Wait a minute. Ah. But then she remembers, wait a minute, I don't have to be annoyed by my loud ass brother. I have earmuffs. I'll just put on the earmuffs and block out the sound. Dear Aunt Carol, I just love the earmuffs she sent. And she writes a genuine thank you letter because now she's looking on the bright side. Somebody learned their lesson. And that's the end of the episode. This is a really cute show. I know a lot of people are nostalgic about it, and I can definitely see why. It's it's clearly got a lot of talented people. I think anytime a lot of effort is put into children's media, the kids who watch it remember that that effort... My dog is barking, and I'm trying to finish the episode. And my neighbors are shooting off fireworks. This is... 
quality of the sound might get real bad from here on out, guys. Does someone want to start mowing their lawn too at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> I definitely think that anytime people go the extra mile in children's media, the kids that watch that media remember it their entire life. Like, I definitely remember Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Sesame Street, Bear in the Big Blue House, these shows that, like, people put genuine effort into making for us to have, and that's something that's always stuck with me. And it's why I'm so passionate and at times very hard on uh, family entertainment because I think a lot of people feel like you can just kind of cut corners because it's just for kids and what do they care, but like, I really think that kids' TV and movies are probably some of the most important media that will ever be made because the things that we see when we're young really stick with us as adults. Like, I'm still realizing, like, the impact that some of the movies and TV shows that I love as a kid, I'm, re I'm still realizing the impact that they have on me even to this day. You know, and the lessons that they taught me and, you know, the actors that put all of their heart and being into bringing that show to life for kids, and I have so much respect for people who do that, so, yeah. I, I hope that I could um, bring back some nostalgia for you guys, um, for those of you who remember the show. Um, thank you to everybody who's requested it. If you'd like to see more episodes uh, covered in the future, please let me know. But that's it for this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. I think we're about to hit like 2,600 subscribers or something, which to me means everything. So thank you guys so much for participating in the community. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so, because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye!